Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. I hope you're having a fabulous Friday, uh, whatever you are up to. They certainly are next door in the gallery. They're very vocal today. They're having a lovely day. Hang on a minute. You've had, you've, they've had ice creams, choc ices. Apparently, Big Boss Laura Arlo bought choc ices. Did you have a choc ice? Uh, no, I have to say I had a mini milk. You, where, I did Where was you? Who got a clip -o? Neve got a clip -o. Oh. They had choc ices, you got a mini milk. Well, I was being really good. So Laura walked past me having my dinner and said, hello everyone, by the way. Uh, us, she's no, stop uh, with the hellos a minute here. I am the only person <laughs> in the building that didn't get an ice cream. Oh, Joe, I feel really bad. So I was being really good. Laura, before no, you come... No, everyone's full of beans. So before Just... Joe come and join me for lunch, I said to Laura, I was having a jacket potato, and I said, I'm being really good because I want to try and lose a bit of weight because it's summertime. And she said, you don't need to lose weight and blah, blah, blah. So John, Joe joined me for lunch. We had lunch. Come in here, and then Laura walked past. She said, Debbie, I know that you're being good. She said, but uh, mini milks are only 35 calories. Did you know that? So I had a mini milk. She did have choc ices and all sorts in her bag. Oh. And I thought me and, and I thought me and Laura were friends. And I was I thinking really that did. Laura's supposed to be your friend. I know, yeah. we've been away on holiday together a lot. Anyway, that's her for Christmas card list. <laughs> hey, this is a craft along. I'm sure you're gonna have a lovely time. I'm not. I've got a right cob on now. There's no saving this for the next two hours. But we do have a fabulous craft along for, <laughs> for you. Uh, looking at these, the amazing uh, decoupage flowers. Um, you get some flowers in here. Uh, this, <laughs> uh, the, we are being able to repeat the launch offer, which is fantastic, and it's going to be an amazing project. Debbie, what are we going to be making today? We're going to be making this beautiful easel fan card, which I just adore. Uh, so you do need to obviously box this sort of card up because it's got quite a lot of uh, dimension on here. Uh, but it literally is an easel card. Uh, but it looks amazing, doesn't it? It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, so we're going to be creating this right from scratch scratch first of all our base card we're going to be making then the fan and then we're going to do in our final part with making those amazing 3d flowers oh incredible I know lots of you already got your stuff gathered together uh, but if you do want to join us in this craft along then absolutely uh, you can gather your bits and bobs now you've got a few minutes let me take you through uh, exactly what you're going to need so you will need the decoupage flower stamp and dies timeless carnation and radiant roses is going to use but I'm sure you could use anyone you like uh, you've also got some stuff from the dancing dragonflies here it's the vellum uh, and also the water lily frame and the dragonfly dream sentiments uh, you will also need a Gemini a scoreboard a bone folder your petal distress tool some other bits that you will need as well uh, are your 12 by 12 textured card uh, the pastels you've got some country lane papers finger daubers some opaque pigment ink pads some quick dry ink pads and also a clear translucent sticky ink pad as well so go and grab uh, all of that get it all gathered along if you don't yet own um, oh, we've got some more bits and bobs as well. Sorry, do excuse me. I uh, hear you've got um, some copier paper, uh, multicolored cardstock tape pens, all your different adhesives there as well. As you can see, some red liner tapes, tacky glue, uh, some gems, some embossing powder, and also a hot glue gun there as well. Right, if you don't yet own these, don't worry, it's not too late. Uh, you can grab these today uh, and you will then uh, be able to create this craft song anytime you like because this will be on our website. It will stay there forever like all of our shows do. Uh, let me take you through what you're getting included. These are going to get the Fragrant Sweet Pea. You've also got the Timeless Carnation. There's the Fabulous Fuchsia. You've got the Radiant Rose. This one here is the Lovely Lilac. And you've also got the delicate lily within there too. 69.99, 79.30. Uh, you've got a great saving and a brilliant platinum price there, as you can see on your screen. Lots of you tuning in uh, and saying hello already. Uh, well, this craft along will work as they always do. But if you are new, maybe you're, it's your first craft along. Yes, it is. Do let me know in the comments. I'd love to find out. You can get in touch with us very easily. Crafters TV on Facebook. Crafters Companion if you are over on YouTube. Uh, Debbie will take regular breaks as we go through. Recap the steps as well. So if you do start to fall behind, don't panic. 
Uh, but if there's anything you need recapping or um, going back over, then you can drop me uh, a line in those ways. But I think, Debbie, if you are ready, it would appear everyone else is pretty much good to go. Uh, fabulous. Right, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to have is your A3 sheet of cardstock. Or if you do have white cardstock that's 12 inches, you can do that as well. Uh, so we've actually got an A, A4... A4 I will get it right in a minute, Joe. A5 sheet. Is that is a uh, what? A5 A3 what? A3 sheet of card. Okay. Put <laughs> else we, for a moment, because we need 12 inches, which is bigger than your actual uh, size of. I your think it was that mini milk getting stuck in your A4. throat. Is probably what that was. I, well, I'm not going to live that down there, am I? Don't get <laughs> shock ices in the gallery. Look. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm with you though, Johnny. I can't remember the last time I had a choc ice. So um, I can remember the last uh, time Johnny did about 20 minutes ago, by the sounds of it. <laughs> Oh, no, no, it's fine, honestly. It's, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> right, we're going to trim this uh, to 12 inches. So we're going to pop that to our 12-inch mark. Make sure that is straight on your side of the guillotine. Hold your uh, piece in place and then trim that down. And then we're going to cut that to 6 inches. So go on to the 6-inch mark and then just trim that one down as well. So we're going to pop that one to the side and take this one here. So let's just pop that over to there. Uh, now we're going to bring in our scoreboard. So let's uh, place our pieces of card on the side. Uh, we're going to bring in this one and we're going to first of all score this in half at six inches. Okay, so go to our six inch mark and just score down there, which scores our half of our card. And the next thing we want to do, we want to create that twisted easel. So the easiest way to do it, I always do my card first. So fold and burnish, so that folds your card over. Uh, and then what we want it to do, we want our card to fold up this way. So that gives you a good guideline of where your diagonal line is gonna be. So we want to put our diagonal line from this point here, so the right-hand side of your card, to that point in the centre and we're just going to bring that down like so and then we're going to fold and burnish that line so nice and easy what we're making is just a standard twisted easel card so you can see that then folds to our card so nice and simple that bit well in fact it's all nice and simple which is good so I'll just quickly recap where everyone's getting their score lines in we're going to cut this six inches by 12 inches across we're going to score it in hard uh, in half fold and burnish and then if you turn your card this way you can see we've got that diagonal line going from our open and fold to the center fold uh, going across this way okay and that gives us that twisted easel shape uh, right now that's done we're going to do our mats and layers for our actual card so what we're going to do now we're going to bring in our papers um, I've got my uh, Country Lane. This is one of my favourite paper pads, Joe. I absolutely love it's this It's gorgeous, one. The isn't papers, it? Yeah, the papers in it are just absolutely beautiful. So choose which ones you want to use. I'm going to use this one here. Um, I love the pinks in this and the lovely vibrant greens. It's a really nice colour one to go for. Oh, it's in stock, that, Debbie. If you want yes, to grab that, I it's over on the website. To, yeah, I tried to use one um, that we do have in stock. So, uh, yeah, if you do want it, honestly, grab it because it's beautiful. Uh, and then what I've got is our textured cardstock. This is our 12 by 12, 230 GSM. Um, and what we're going to use for this one is our pinks. Uh, so uh, I'm going to take our pinks, but obviously whatever colour you've gone for in your paper bag, just choose your colours that will work with that as well. So I'm going to pull one of those out. And then we're going to bring our guillotine back in. And then we're going to trim these to size. I've just chucked my card. Um, I know where it's gone. There it is. Rose says, TGIF. What's that noise? It's a wambulance from Joe, apparently. For Joe. <laughs> Someone bring him an ice cream, please. My sentiment exactly, Rose. Uh, Pam the Craft says, just popped on. What size is the card? 
I think she means a finished card. Six by six, is it, Debbie? Six by six, yes, because it's six inches by uh, 12 inches folded in half. So, uh, yes, yeah, so a nice card size. Uh, right, we're going to do our mats and layers. So we're going to pick our um, pink colour, our lightest pink colour, uh, and we're going to cut this to uh, five and three quarter inch square. Uh, and we're going to cut two of those. So five and three quarters. Just like so. And then five and three quarters for that one. And then we're going to trim the other one. So we've got two of them, so five and three quarters. So you've got two pieces, five and three quarters inch square. Okay, so that's our two mats there. Um, and then what we're going to do is bring in our um, coloured papers uh, and this time we're going to come in a little bit smaller. So instead of five and three quarters, we're going to do these five and a half inch square. So five and a half, just like so. Turn that round, we're going to go five and a half inch. In fact, I want to do it that way because I want more of the pattern. So five and a half and then five and a half just like so so that gives us our mat and layers for these two here uh, we are going to do one slightly different in a second but first of all what i want to do we're going to just rough up our edges um, so it just gives a little bit of texture and um, you can do that with a um, we do a tool where you've got that tool but I don't think I've got it to hand quick question Debbie yes. from Deborah Spencer I says um, if you're using a single-sided cardstock would you be scoring on the right side or the back side of your card good question that isn't it the single-sided Single-sided cardstock, so that so like if you're using Centura Pearl, mm. say, um, ah, yeah. So it's a bit of a difficult one that one, Joe, because it depends which way round you want to look at it. So what I mean by that, when our card closes, if you put your coloured on the outside edge, you would only you wouldn't really see it. Where this one, if you've got a coloured piece of pink card. Do it for the inside okay. part, just see what I mean. Um, but when you fold it over, it'll be the outside and the inside. So if it yes. is a single colour card, just be mindful that you will only see half of your colour card because we're bending it over. Brilliant. Yep. So should we be scoring it generally as a rule then, Debbie, on the coated side the or the coated uncoated side? side? Always yes. on the coated Always side. Always on the coated Brilliant. side. What I would say is if you want it to fold the opposite way, mm. score on the coated side first, then turn it over and score on the other Brilliant. side because what that would do is stretch the fibres of your card. All right. Brilliant. Right, so we've got our layers here, and all we're going to do is just the um, the uh, patterned cardstock, just with one of them. We're just going to rough up the edges a little bit. So, yeah, I haven't got it, Johnny. We have got a, um, a paper distressor, but I haven't got it. But we're just going to... Uh, don't worry if you like, I've just torn a bit there. I'm not worried about that. It all adds to that texture of your card. So it's just a case. Be careful. Hold it quite um, firmly. And then we can just go along and take those uh, fibres up. Just really adds to that texture of your cardstock. I mean, you don't have to do that. If you like your layers to just be smooth and have nice edges, you could ink them if you wanted to, Joe. You could um, put some um, uh, gilding wax on the sides. You could add some uh, heat, heat embossing. So the choice is absolutely yours. So we're just going to pop that onto the side. I put a bit of card underneath just to catch all those pieces so they're not on my work surface. Pop them into the bin. So we're going to bring that one in and we're going to just stick that on top. So you can see it just gives a really nice distressed look uh, and just adds to that interest when we're doing it. So I'm just going to bring, bring in my tape pens to attach that to my piece of card. And that's one of our first mats and layers done. So add that onto there. Now the next thing we want to do, I'm going to bring my guillotine back in because uh, I want to use these two parts, but I want to use them a little bit differently. So bring back in your guillotine. The pink piece of card we're going to, first of all, cut in half. So we'll pop that into place. 
and just trim that one down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in a little bit more. So just slightly, a little bit of an, an edge. So we're taking off about sort of one increment of an inch okay. uh, just off of that end piece. Um, and then we're going to do the same with this, uh, the coloured, uh, the textured cut. The patterned curl. So I'll get my words out in a minute, Joe. Can't get my uh, words out today. And then we're going to do exactly the same. I'm going to bring that forward just a little bit and take a uh, just a fraction off of that as well. Doesn't matter if that's not straight at all because we're going to do exactly the same again. Bring in, I had that bit of card. Bring in your scissors and we're just going to distress that end piece. Amazing. Any questions you've got, get them in. So there's no questions at the moment in the comments, which is a fantastic sign, because I think it means everyone is following along just beautifully, which is awesome. Yeah, let us know if you are crafting along live with Debbie today. We'd love to know. Yeah, absolutely. We don't have anyone actually crafting live with us today, which is a shame. But if you ever fancy it yourselves and you're out there thinking you'd like to uh, come in and... Um, and craft along, that would be amazing. Yeah, there's a specific email address for that as well if you want to get involved. Crafters TV guest at crafterscompanion.co.uk. It's along the bottom of your um, screen just there. Drop us a line. I actually Come never and join knew the fun. that. I didn't know there Did was a specific email no. address. That's really cool. And honestly, we don't fight. Not hard. <laughs> Joe might if you're an ice cream. <laughs> oh, I just have forgotten about the ice cream, Debbie. I just cheered myself oh, sorry, up. I'm sorry, Boom, I'm and you go again with the ice cream chatter. <laughs> right, so that gives us that triangle piece. So we're going to mat and layer that over this side. So what that's going to do, that's going to act as the behind bit for our uh, easel card. So it's bring, got, still got two pieces yet here. So let's stick these ones down. So again, you could be using your wet glue. Um, I'm just using for speed my tape pens, but also I know it's going to stick it really well. So if you are using your tape pens, make sure you just rub that down uh, to make sure it gets a firm grip. So popping that in there. So then what we can do is bring our card that we did, which I've put somewhere safe, Joe. I just picked it up from the floor. There it is. So bring our card back in. We're going to then lay this piece onto our bottom here. I'm going to pipe around that way. I want the, I want the piece with the most sort of pattern uh, along this bottom. You're not going to see much of it because we are going to be covering it up a bit, but it's always nice to know um, that you're seeing, even if it's just an edge, that you've got that beautiful pattern on there. So let's bring that into here. And obviously you don't have to do a, um, an, a sort of easy, a diagonal easel card like this, but um, if you're crafting along and you want to uh, create the same, then obviously follow it the same way. I mean, I know there's lots of um, sort of advanced crafters that uh, have their own take on our craft alongs and we love seeing mm. those, honestly. Don't feel like you can't have your own agenda on them and and do your own thing but I love the fact that if you just want to be crafting and make something new um, it's a great way to just craft along and copy exactly what we're oh, doing. Oh we've got lots we're very international today um, Debbie. Thora uh, is messaging says good day Thora from Mossel Bay South Africa. Oh hello. South Africa that's amazing. Well, we're just talking about South Africa. Wow. Just generally where they're watching from in the world. Beautiful country, South Africa. I was lucky to go uh, a few years back. Uh, Mary Pat says, good morning, everyone from sunny Montana. Uh, Kay is sat in the garden doing Christmas tags uh, in Crewe in Cheshire. Sounds Ooh. lovely. What's Very the weather like nice. in Crewe? Well, I mean, the fact that she's sat in the garden would insist, would uh, insinuate that it's pretty lovely. We've got, a, we've got about 10 days now, two weeks of pretty gorgeous weather coming up, apparently, Debbie. Ooh. It's going to be high pressure, which means stable weather systems and lots of sunshine. Wow, it's so nice. It's so, so Johnny's doing a load of overtime, so good luck with that, Johnny. Well, at least he's in a dark, cool room. Yes, exactly. Air-conditioned, I might add. 
Uh, right, so what we've done now, before I do this bit, and all will come clear in a second, um, I want to cut our frame out because we're going to be using this beautiful water lily frame. So we're going to cut this one out. So I've just laid it onto some white cardstock. Um, we'll do this and this bit, and then we'll take a little bit of break to get everyone caught up on. Okie doke, sounds so like a plan. Let's just cut this one out. I love this one, it's such a beautiful die. So pop that on and then run that through. There we go. Um, and that die will fit through your Gemini Midi, your Gemini Junior or your Gemini. So um, yeah, great die to use. Uh, Sarah Brown says she'd love to come and do a craft long. Drop us an email, Sarah. Yeah, We'd love absolutely. to get you on. Um, lots of people still chatting away as well. No specific questions at the moment, though, which is a great sign, Debbie. Absolutely. I think it is always good with the craft alongs because uh, people can really see that they can just uh, craft along at their leisure, ask questions if they need to. But I think also there's that really lovely element of um, not having to worry if you do it wrong because you can literally. Uh, I didn't realise, Joe, either, so I don't know if anyone else knew this. But I missed some of the show I wanted to watch the other day. And you can actually just go press the button back. Oh, yeah, just scrub along. Yeah, I didn't realise that. I thought you couldn't, you'd have to wait till after the show's finished. But oh. actually, you can go back. Yeah, yeah you can, I, if you miss I a bit, you're in, you can pop, always pop back. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's brilliant for the craft along because um, if you do miss a bit, you just literally wind it back a little bit, which is fabulous. Right, so just picking out those final little pieces uh, lots of other people saying hello Astrid the lovely Astrid is saying hello hi Astrid uh, Lynette's uh, saying hi to Sarah Brown says it's now 11 p.m. Friday night I'm tucked up in bed and I'm going to be saving this show uh, Lynette says good afternoon Debbie Joe and all the team hi, uh, Lynette. and Rose is in Colorado says good morning from Colorado happy Friday woohoo a craft along with Debbie mm -hmm. I know what a treat on a Friday eh um, Rebecca's in Alabama, she's saying hello. Um, Shadaya's having internet issues, sorry to hear that, Shadaya. Just yeah. hopefully we'll stay on so I can uh, watch me show. Uh, Province-wide interference, There's, I mean interference is bad enough, but when it's province-wide, oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> um, is Sh so is um, Shadaya, are you the Shadaya that um, messages in at Hobby Maker as well? Oh. Um, just because, it made me think the other day because they say Shadia. Ah. So it made me think of Shadaya. So I'm just wanted to see if that was you, and if you, um, if, if that's how you say your name. If we're yeah. saying it the correct is way, it or is it Shadia or Shadaya? Yeah. I think it's Shadaya. Yeah, no, I think well, I it hope is, so. Cause so. I've, been calling, I've been calling the wrong name for two years now. If that is the case. <laughs> uh, right. What we're going to do now? Actually, I'm going to bring that piece of card in because you'll be able to see it a lot clearer. And also, I'm going to just uh, get my smaller scissors. Uh, we're actually going to cut this uh, in a diagonal shape as well, just to go along with that flow. Uh, so pick a point of what you want to uh, cut around. So I want to cut around these petals here so I can keep that shape. So we can use both parts, but can you see, you're then getting a, quite a nice edge. So I'm just going to round those edges up that I've just cut around. So just so we have a point uh, which looks nice with the little flower on the end and then we've got another flower on this side. And then we're going to go to the opposite side, so we're doing that diagonal and we're going to do the same on here. So we're just going to cut round that one off and then I'm just going to round the flower petals onto there and just the same on this one. Just rounding that off, just to shape it and to give it that, uh, so it doesn't look like we've actually cut our die cut up. So we've got two nice die cuts from there um, that we can use on our makes. So the first thing we want to do is bring back in the one that we haven't done anything with yet, uh, because we want to put this right on the very edge of our uh, card. So I want to do that a little bit smaller. So what we want to do is cut this piece a bit smaller and also this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this onto my glass mat and just using a, uh, either a pen or a, um, a, a pencil, all I'm going to do is come in at half an inch and put a line down here 
and then I'm going to put a, a line down there. If it's easier for you to just score a line, then you can do that. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with this. We're going to take off that same amount. So coming down there, I'm going to put that a little dash there and a little dash there. And then we're going to trim those so we know that we're getting that exactly where we need them to be. So let's bring our guillotine back in and trim those down. So firstly the pattern card start and I'm doing it just so you can't, although we're going to distress this one so you won't really be able to see your lines anyway. And then bring this one in and again trim that one down as well. So that makes your triangle there just that little bit smaller. And in fact, I'm thinking, I'm going to, and actually I'm going to come in another centimetre because I think I did it an in inch and not a, um, not half. So apologies for that. But come in just another half an inch. So we'll do exactly the same. Sorry, it would have been easy if I told you it was an inch. That will um, teach me, Joe, not to, um, not to read my notes and just go ahead. So pop those out. But it doesn't take too much time just to trim that extra off again. Because we want to make this your smaller step. And if we don't get this one right and it's smaller, because this is the one that we want to, um, to use for uh, our stepper. There we go. That's oh, Debbie. Oh, what? Oh, that sounds not good. <sighs> Turns out. We've only been saying Shaddy his name wrong for the last two years. So it's not Shadia, it's, it's Shadia. It's Shadia. She says, no, it was not, Debbie, but you can say it both ways. Ah, OK. Shadia uh, is the right way you say it, but Shadia is also correct. Ah. I feel like that's a very nice way of agreeing that we've been saying it wrong, but it's a very polite way of oh. saying, yes, you've been mispronouncing it. I thought it was strange, because so on Hobby Maker, it comes up, it comes up on the screen. And, so it's um, Shadio is what we should be saying. And they, that's what they say at the studio, they say Whoops. Shadio. Yeah, everyone here says Shadio, and, and yeah. Uh, I'll try and say Shadio, but I feel like the horse is... I mean, it's, we're two years in now. <laughs> Oops. Eek, eek. And Linny as well. I mean, Linny, you're not helping. She says, hi, Joe and Debbie. Joe, I've got chalk ices in the freezer. Get yourself up to Edinburgh and they're yours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Joe, come back. <laughs> uh, and Barbara Wolfel is saying hi. So she says, hello, aus Europa, uh, in Germany. I know that was German, not Geordie, Johnny. <laughs> 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 oh dear, let us know if we've got your name wrong at all because we might have a few names wrong actually, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny though, because I, I, and the reason it's stuck in my mind is because I, Shadia or Shadia is such an unusual name. Mm, right, so. Shadia. I'm going to try, Johnny, I'm going to try, try Shadia. There we go, so. That's this one, and then we're going to use this die cut. So let's use our smallest one. You'll have a smaller one uh, to your other side. So if you've left your bigger petals at the side here, uh, that will be bigger than what this one is at the side. So we're going to use that to go over the top. So we're going to bring in our dotty tape pen, and then we're going to just place that. And all I'm doing is doing it on the beginning, like insides. We don't need to do it on the outsides because they're going to slightly overlap. So just making sure we put plenty of our glue on. And then that will overlap just on those side pieces, which will give us that beautiful edge of our stepper. And then all we're going to do with that, and then we'll take a break so you can all catch up. This is going to be our front stepper here. So we're going to pop this onto here, uh, but we need to put this onto uh, some uh, foam tape. So let's just grab some of that. So we've got some foam on a roll. Foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. No. Hey! Joe, you're so boring. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. <laughs> Pat. 
Handicraft says I've escaped the sun for a little bit to craft along. It's red hot in Doncaster again. Red hot in red sunny Donny. Hot. There we are. Uh, Caitlin says I'm with you, Joe. Mm, one of those mm, emojis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the lovely Lynn says, uh, Hi Joyce, Joe, delightful Debbie, the CTV team, the wonderful social superstars, and everyone. When, it must be soon time for the holidays, Lynn. Lynn's a teacher. Uh, when does the, six weeks, when do they start, Johnny? Yeah, I'm the 19th saying, of um, July. Do you know what? I wish that they didn't have a six weeks holiday, Debbie. Because <laughs> I, I really, I think just make them go through the summer is my, what I'm saying. <sighs> It's a lot, isn't it? Like, it's a lot of time off. And do you know oh, why? Because the price of holidays go through to the roof. Do you think I can get a cheeky, <laughs> think I can get a cheeky weekend away somewhere in August? Absolutely not. Because <laughs> all the children are off. And then you do go away, uh, you know, to Europe. You know, you have a nice long weekend in Mallorca with your sweetheart. And then what happens? Just screaming kids around the pool the whole time. <laughs> oh, At no. least there's a chalk ice, though. At least there's a chalk ice there. Yes. Uh, we're going to have a break there, so <laughs> I, just, I just can't cope with this moaniness. Oh, oh, woe oh, me, Joe. Sorry? <laughs> oh, woe oh, me. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's very inconsiderate, don't you? I do think it's very inconsiderate. Um, there right, might be let some me... left over. Sorry? There might be some left over. Children? Do we have children? <laughs> what, what are you on about? Ice lollies. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me run you back through uh, what is included uh, in this particular collection. Remember, if you don't have these and you want to take part in this craft along, then you absolutely uh, can uh, because you'll be able to watch this back anytime you like, which is brilliant. So you've got the fragrant sweet pea. Do you also have the timeless carnations in here? You're going to get the fabulous fuchsia. The Radiant Rose, uh, you've got the lovely Lilac, and of course, the Delicate Lily in there as well. The other thing about these as well, they are on a two for 26 pounds or $30. So if you wanna get a couple of these and then do the craft along, uh, absolutely, um, you will be able to do that, which is great. 69.99 or 79.30. Um, Shadia says, uh, Foire, thanks Debbie, love you Prince Joe, do not make your face like that, we love that song, and you blooming kill it. <laughs> <laughs> That's me told. Well, I, I think as you've got a name wrong for so long, Joe, I think you should have to sing the song now. Uh, Rose also been in touch. <laughs> Rose also been in touch. <laughs> uh, Joe, did you see the picture of the doppelganger that I sent you from Glastonbury? I did. Yes, there was someone uh, wearing a long blonde wig. It definitely wasn't me, but I definitely see where you were going with that, Ro. Uh, Lynn says the schools break up on the 22nd of July. Um, and Lynn also says, Joe, how do you think we feel? We can only take our holidays in the school holidays. We never get away from the children. The children are not the prices. Uh, not the prices. The p children are not the main issue, uh, Debbie. It's the prices that are... The, oh, the, I is the see issue. what you mean. Because yes. like uh, a yes. holiday, that, like a long weekend mm -hmm. in Mallorca, that would yep. be about 200, 200, yep. 250 pounds, goes from 250 pounds to 600 pounds yep. in school holidays. Absolutely. I mean, I do simple, I mean, I know I joke, but obviously children that can't only go away, adults can only take their kids away in the holidays. It yeah. is an absolute nightmare, isn't it? It's terrible, um, isn't it, the prices. Lisa McLean says, schools in Aberdeen have already closed for the seven weeks holiday. Seven weeks holiday. Uh, is what that is. Yeah, my son's already uh, broke up. He Debbie says, Joe, our schools are closed for 10 weeks. Um, wow. Heather says, Joe is not being a team player. I never, uh, I never said I was, uh, Heather. <laughs> um, in fact, probably the opposite. Uh, <laughs> Regina says, uh, good morning. I have to, um, I have to, more crafting. I buy all these collections and not crafting much. I've been the humming, I have both the hummingbird and the decoupage flowers. Amazing. Um, Sarah Brown says, here in Melbourne, we have another week, two weeks all up. We have four terms here. Mm, there you go. So more holidays, but um, not so long. I think they just need to stagger them a bit more, Debbie. Mm. You know, like, because the, the, other, the other holidays, um, I mean, this is just not getting any better. They then said, what this has just happened here, the gallery have just said, uh, actually, we think we've got your chalk ice job. We've just sent a Neve, um, who's on work experience here at the moment, uh, to go and get you one. And I was like, Did oh, Neve get one? yes, I'm going to get a chalk ice. <laughs> They've just let me know there are no chalk ices left. 
Um, I do hope someone's on their way to Tesco. It's, uh, I do hope someone's on their way to Tesco is all I can say. Uh, Shadia says, uh, we're out of school here since June 23rd. No, 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 they're not. Okay, brilliant. Anyway, I think if you're ready for the next, oh, Fiverr Friday I've got to tell you about. Uh, I've got three deals to show you uh, for Fiverr Friday. Here we go. I mean, I'm absolutely fuming, Johnny. Um, let me share this first one with you. Uh, this beautiful ink pad that you've got here. Five pounds or five dollars, or as I like to think of it, 4.6 chalk ices. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great saving there for Sorry, you. Uh, which one are we doing next? Uh, the scissors. Oh, next. Brilliant. These, Debbie, for cutting the wrapper on your chalk ice. Perfect for that. Would be wonderful. Maybe even cutting the bottom off a clippo. Let it get you into a magnum, maybe. Uh, five pounds. It definitely could get you in a minute like these. Five pounds or five dollars. Uh, it's saving over 35%. You've got nine dollars saving there uh, if you are in the US. Uh, we've also got the rocker blocks uh, for you. Incidentally, very similar shape to a chop ice, these. Uh, five pounds or five dollars. Everyone saving at least. 50% uh, is your uh, show uh, here. Oh, brilliant, it gets better. Uh, Kayleen in the comments says, oh yeah, Joe, Laura got us loads of ice lollies. I've had one too. <laughs> Joe's fuming, they're saying. No know. one told to go. She did have a big bag of them, Joe. I'm surprised Willow hasn't had one, <laughs> honestly. Right. <laughs> That's Erin's dog, for those of you that don't know. <laughs> I think we better get back to it, don't you, Debbie? Oh, Joe, so funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, let's bring the, gal gal the gallery in, not the gallery, the guillotine. Oh, dearie me, the guillotine. Um, I can't get my mind off chalk ices now, dearie me. Uh, right, let's bring in that other piece of cardstock that we just trimmed up. Uh, so this pink one, what we want to do first, because we're going to make the fan, uh, but I want to make a little pocket for the fan. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a square piece of card, four and three quarters of an inch square. So let's pop that in, four and three quarters, trim that, and then four and three quarters of an inch and trim that one down as well. So that gives us our four and three quarters of an inch square. We're going to then bring our scoreboard back in and we're just going to do a little bit of scoring onto this one. So we're going to go in at a quarter of an inch. That's just a, your two increments in. And then we're going to go in at three quarters of an inch. Okay, so those two lines. Then we're going to turn it round and do the same on the opposite side. So a quarter of an inch. So again, two increments in there. And then we're going to go to three quarters of an inch and score that down. And then we're going to bring our guillotine back in. So pop that one back in. Now from one corner to the next, it doesn't matter which way you go from, we're going to just trim that in half. So right to each corner and trim that down. So we've got two pieces here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just fold these lines in. So we've got our first one and then our next line. Right, so that creates one of our corners. Now this one, we want to turn the opposite way round. So this works, uh, hang on. You know when you do, oh, there we go, that way. So you want to pop that this way round. So it's the back of what you've scored there, but it's going to slot into this section. So we want to actually uh, do this the opposite way. And I will recap on this because I know when you're do we were doing things like this, it can look a little bit confusing. So basically, you've got two, square, two of your triangles and they've got their score lines on each side. So hopefully uh, that makes sense. Okay. And then they're going to come together to create this little triangle base. Okay. Just like so. 
So when you turn it round, you can see. Now what I want to do is, before we uh, attach this to anything, we want to just hold these together and then I want to just square off my corners. So all I'm going to do is come round, turn it round and you'll see a score line across here. So there, it just turned that round. So a score line, oh, we've gone that way now. There we go. So I'm just making sure... George is well documented with his uh, camera camera mishaps, isn't he, Debbie? Is that, has he got a new camera? No. George tends to have some, some quite... I wouldn't... Well, yeah, maybe embarrassing mishaps. And then he says that the camera just moved on its own. There was, a, there, was a, there was an incident with the camera going down Liam's top, the overhead, last week. Again? He's oh, done no. that before? When I say last week, I mean a little while ago. Oh, OK. So can you see, we've got then two squared off uh, sections. So they create this little pocket. Oh, perfect. OK. So uh, if you need me to recap on that, let Joe know and we can always do that again. But then you've got these two pieces here. So what I am going to do, first of all, we're just going to glue one to the other. So we're going to put our tape into here. And then just slot those together like so now this is not going to be seen so it doesn't have to be perfect this is just going to hold your fan into place okay so that gives us our little pocket there with our little uh, little uh, side pieces you could actually if we pop a little bit of tape on the edge there we can then just glue those sections together just like so there we go and that will just give us our little pocket, okay? So we're going to pop this to the side, now we've done that. And then we're going to make our fan. So you're going to choose a piece of... Um, well, in fact, we can still use this. And in fact, I think it's pretty much what we need it to be. Let me just check my measurements. Yeah, so the piece of card that we cut half of that off, because we use that six-inch piece, we want to trim this down to five and a half inches uh, by the 12 inches. So bring it across. And then we can trim off and I'll do the more pattern on that side. So five and a half inches and then just trim that section and that will already be 12 inches across. And then we're going to do some scoring. So um, as with all fans, it's a Constantina uh, score line. So what we are going to do, first of all, is we're going to go in uh, and we're going to do our scoring. So we're going to score at half inch intervals. Um, so what I like to do, Joe, is I'm going to go in at inches. So we're going to go to our inches and score all our inches. And I always do it twice because I just think it's... Uh, it it helps to stretch the fibres of your card. And then two. Don't press too heavily because it's uh, a lightweight cardstock. And then again, I mean, if you've got a bigger scoreboard, you'd be able to go right to the end, but we're using just our score master. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold a section. So just fold that one in half. And then we can butt that up against there and then just continue on those inch lines and then our last one and then what we're going to do is turn it over and we're now going to score on our half inch line so first of all i'm going to do the one that's already folded so we're going to go this way first go to that half inch and we're just going to score on all those half inch lines and then we can unfold that piece and then again go to those half lines and just keep scoring down until you've got all your score lines um Asher says even when debbie is being sensible i always feel like she's right on the brink of bursting into giggles <laughs> I think you're right, to be honest, Astrid. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take a lot. That's the trouble. I'm always laughing at something. I've also, I think I've also got a nervous laugh as well, Joe. So I. Oh, yeah, I, I laugh in the most horrendous. Yeah, my son did, but I'm actually thinking I, I've got a nervous laugh as well. Um, so uh, not so long ago, a few weeks back, uh, a friend of mine was having a very serious conversation about something 
not very nice, and burst out into tears. And instead of me comforting them, I burst out laughing. Oh, that's... They started crying mean. and I burst out laughing. That's actually very mean. I didn't... I, I know it was... I think they just took me by surprise and I, I was obviously... It was very... I felt very awkward. So I laughed in their face, which seemed like the only sensible thing to do. Oh, dear. Yeah. I mean, I'm well... My compassion is well documented, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> George is like, you're coming out of the box for that, sorry. <laughs> I did care, obviously, Debbie, but it just manifested itself in a very strange emotional reaction. And, and some things I, I think we find funny, even when they're not funny, but not in a nasty way. No. So I do, I do understand that. Yeah, I, I also terrible. used to have a bit of a nervous yawn as well back in the day. If I was in a situation whereby, I, I, you know, especially yeah, like sure. in, a, in a, if I was in a, a group environment, uh, I never used to be very confident back in the day. So when people would speak to me in a group setting, I would just start yawning, <laughs> like, oh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I know, very strange, isn't it? Oh, so I've just realised that I must bore you loads then, because you yawn lots around me, Joe. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Never bored when I'm with you, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, you are allowed to bore me. We're a married couple, you know. Oh, exactly, yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, right, so that gives us our fan. Look at that. Oh, really that's fabulous. beautiful. Yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, so, and now, if you do want to create yourself a, a bigger fan, do it the full 12 sheets uh, and mm. create it, because actually, it's quite a good little fan, that is. It works. Nice. It works. I have to make you one, Joe. Thank you. Did you find a fan earlier? Sorry? Did you find a no, fan earlier? No, didn't find it. Ah. I didn't see it. Right, so I now mean, I, I mean, fan. obviously, you've got a fan and you had a mini milk, so I mean, you're winning, <laughs> double winning. Didn't get a chalk ice, didn't get a mini milk, didn't get a clippo, <laughs> and I don't have a fan. I mean, you've actually got two fans now, not that I'm counting. <laughs> Um, yeah, and we've got a little pouch to put our fan in. So, uh, yeah, so this is a great little way because your fan will fit inside here. So just push it together, see where it fits nicely, and then it, you can fan it out. So what we're going to do is pop that in there, and then because we want it to stay in a particular shape, we're going to push it down and, and glue it to these side pieces. So what we are going to do, that she's come apart, but it's good actually, because I want to use some um, red liner tape. So I'm going to bring in my thicker red liner tape, which is the 12 millimeter, and we're going to just run that along that edge, just down there and then trim that one off. So everyone was okay, I take it, with um, the uh, making of our little side side box, which is good. So no, and we've had no that. questions, actually, Debbie, which is a really good... Um, it's really good because everyone's obviously following along just fine. Right, so let's pop that down. And then that one. So really burnish that well, and then it's easy enough to take off. And then we're going to take that off. And actually, we need to just... I'm going to put a little bit... So I'm going to bring in um, a little piece of the 3mm, because we're going to pop that just on that edge that come away. And that way, that will keep that piece um, together. And while we're here as well... I'm going to put some, turn it over and put some, we could have just done that down that edge, couldn't we? Put some down this edge, because this is what then will stick to our actual card. And then down the other side. Just like so. Now, the red uh, liner tape is the um, strongest that we have. So, really good one to use. And take that little piece away. I'll get that off now, Joe. There we go. Oh, that. So that will stick just to that part. And let's just put a little bit too much on there. There we go. That's better. There we go. So that will hold all that in place. Uh, and then we're going to take off the inside part. Uh, if you do have problems in taking it away, just grab your um, pokey tool, pop 
pop that inside and that will just peel that away. Like so, and then on the other side, just there. Right, so that gives us all our glue in, and then what we want to do, there we go. Oh, and I forgot something else. So before you put your fan in, what we do want to do, even though we've created that fan effect, I want to cut out a triangle in the front, Joe, because okay. we want to have room to be able to put. So all I'm going to do, do you know where we put that, cut these points here? We're going to just come in and cut down. So just across there, remember you won't see these. There's a reason for doing this, so I'll show you in a second. So we've got our sticky parts there, we've got our fan, so we're gonna scrunch this together at the bottom. So making sure that it's all well folded there. Then we're going to pop that into place and stick our first part, as you can see there, okay. So we're going to then hold that piece into place and just push down, work that one in. That will stick nicely into there. And then this one, push it all together. And then we're going to do that exactly the same, but on the opposite side. Pop that down. And then we're going to do the same. Push those pieces together and just then give those a rub. Just like so, that comes away. Don't worry about that because we can always re-stick that part just there because then this bit is going to sit nicely onto the back of your card. But the reason we've got this bit at the front is so then we've got a position where we can put our uh, flowers nice. without them being too far out on so the front. So if you didn't get that bit too neat, it doesn't really matter. You're going to cover that, are you, Debbie? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so let's bring our card back in. And then uh, we can then start with our flowers in a little while. So we've got a fair bit to do on our flowers. So at least we've got all our card bits done. So all I'm going to do is we're going to stick this bit to the front here. And then we're going to stick this bit on. And then we can show exactly uh, how we get our flowers done. So let me just grab some... Uh, where's my tape? Dotty tape pen. Here it is. Uh, and my bit of card that I've been using. So this bit is just, I mean, it's not like a lot of it is being shown, but it's just tying everything in. So when we pop this on the bottom, so just like so, along there. Just, um, uh, I, I just Someone's checked on, right. are you okay, John? Yeah, I'm fine. He's all right, don't worry, don't panic. <laughs> He's okay. I think he was just falling over the chalk ice wrapper uh, that someone left out <laughs> the back there. So I'm not crying. John is not very happy. Your, your lovely, your lovely wife bought. Um, did you have a chalk ice, by the way, John? Yeah. Oh, yeah, John didn't. I oh, yeah, no. <laughs> it seems like Joe was the only one that. I didn't came get back, ice John, from a lovely uh, break, and I was all ready to get on with the show when I heard whispers about chalk ices in the gallery, and turns out. Both uh, Johnny and George had had a choc ice. Debbie had had a mini milk. I didn't get one. John had a rocket. There you are. John had a rocket. Oh dear. Oh dear. So give that a good weight down. <laughs> you look so. Oh, sad, Caitlin though. had a rocket one too. Okay, thanks, so Caitlin. <laughs> I have to say, I haven't had a mini milk for ages and it was delicious. Yeah, you didn't have to say, Debbie. <laughs> and there we go. So that's our fan on our cars. If I turn that round, uh, you can see just how easy it is to pop that into place, keep it all nice, uh, and then we're going to be making our flowers uh, after the break. Uh, awesome. Any questions you've got about that element, uh, that section, you can get them into me. Uh, but what I want to do is share a couple of deals that we had in last night's cartload show. It was such an incredibly busy cartload uh, yesterday. So I want to share a couple of those with you right now. Uh, the Lee Holland stamps have been so popular. These are excellent uh, to colour, no matter what kind of colouring medium you want to use with them. Uh, you've got um, sentiments in here as well as the main focal imagery too. So this one here is the You Are My Sunshine. Then you have With Love, 
which is so cool. It looks a bit gothic, that one, doesn't it? It's a bit dark, but I like it. I think you could make it a little bit more playful with some more pastel tones. Then you've got the Hello You. Oh, I love that one with the um, dragon clutching the blue, and that's going to be perfect for birthdays, I'm thinking. You then have this one, send, uh, sorry, from me to you. Who doesn't love cake? I think that needs to be a chocolate cake, though. And then you've also got Thank You. Uh, so you can see that one there, it's got thank you so much. Uh, and then you've also got this one here, which is the Forever Friends is the other one you'll get in there. You're buying two and getting four free. I mean, it is an excellent, excellent deal. You can use any of your colouring mediums with them as well. So uh, absolutely snap those up if you missed out on yesterday's cartload. The other one that I've got for you, oh my giddy aunt, this is a brilliant deal on this. We are moving into Christmas crafting season, so perfect time of year for something like this. Uh, it's your Christmas large work eligibles uh, you're buying one and getting four, a three for free now they should be 12.99 or 14.95 each you're getting them all for that price 10 pounds and change just under 12 dollars if you're a platinum member you've got warm winter wishes you've also got peace on earth there's so much detail in these as well uh, you've then got silent night you'll also receive seasons greetings in there too um, 12.99 or 14.95. The Silent Night one will go well with Monday's launch. Bethlehem. Oh, I haven't seen it, Johnny. No. Have you seen the new launch on Monday, Bethlehem, Debbie? I've seen some samples with it, mm. but I haven't seen the collection. Is it like traditional Christmas. Very like much. Reason so, for yeah. the season, so, Kyla. Mm kind of Christmas. The paper pad is off the charts amazing apparently according to Johnny. So make sure you join the guys for that on Monday. Ben will be here with I think it's Michelle. Michelle McCarthy will be here uh, as well. So make sure you join the pair of them for that. Right Debbie, if you're ready for the next section, I think everyone else is pretty much good to go. Yes, all good. Right, let's use our timeless create colours. <laughs> They're laughing at me because I Come on, Debbie, like, come please. I, I was yawning, but you can see because my eyes are watering because I just yawned and they were like, oh, Debbie, they're coming to you. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a nervous yawn, it was just a yawn. Yeah, just a yawn. <laughs> I've been on my tired legs all well, day. Be uh, Peg, says, Peg says about yawning, says when my son was little, he would yawn just before he got up in church to play the piano i think it must be a stress releasing coping mechanism that would oh, make sense having to work with me debbie it wouldn't it yeah it would make sense yeah absolutely right now we're going to bring in something uh, really expensive um copy paper so just copy paper out of your um uh, printer i did have to laugh i gave a list i have to tell you this story so i have to outpour jake i said to jake, i gave jake a list earlier of all the things that i needed for um uh, for the craft along i said oh jake while i'm on air would you mind getting this for the craft along uh, and he said uh, so when i come off air he said to me debbie i've got everything you need i've put it all on the desk for you he said but is that what's what's copy paper <laughs> I was like, out of the printer, copy of paper, and he was like, oh. <laughs> he thought it was like some special fancy craft paper. He thought it was, yeah, he thought it was something uh, fancy that we had, but no, general copy paper. Uh, I've got three sheets, and I've just folded it in half, so um, uh, nothing fancy about it. Uh, and I love it because we can cut these dies out uh, and get some really awesome uh, flowers out of this as well. Now, the leaf on this one, on your timeless carnations, we're going to cut out of some green cardstock. Uh, it, again, in your 12 by 12 paper pad uh, so just take out one of your greens I do already have some scrap pieces somewhere so I'm just going to use those oh well I'm oh there, there there it is so just bring that one over so just some green uh, which we're going to cut some uh, leaves out of so I'm just going to cut about four leaves actually I think we might be able to uh, fold this in half and cut two out at a time so just pop that in and let's do our, I think if we do it that way, yeah, I can cut then four out, can't I? So pop those in. We only need those two. And then we'll cut another one. So, so cutting that down, I'm just doing this so I can fit them into, onto my Gemini. Well, actually, I've got my Gemini at normal plates, so I can definitely fit them on. So pop those into place and then cut those ones out. 
Now what's nice about these, and it does take that little bit longer, but it makes all the difference to be able to uh, stamp onto them. You get the gorgeous stamps with them. Now what I do love about the stamps and copier paper, you don't have to be too fussy uh, because they look pretty however you do them. You don't have to do a proper stamp every single time. It's just a quick, light stamp in. Uh, and it's where we're going to bring our um, uh, rocker blocks into play. So let's take those ones out and that one. And we're going to cut some more of those. So we've got our leaves there and then we're going to just pop that in again. And there we go. Uh, Cindy Thompson saying, in that case, I should yawn before I meet my new boss later today. Yeah, just as they walk into the room. That's always a good one. Uh, <laughs> um, jo Leanne may have given us a little sneak peek of Monday's launch. It is gorgeous, says Debbie. Uh, and Samantha says, happy Friday, everyone. We just had a heck of a thunderstorm this morning. The thunder was so loud, it shook the house. Wow. I do love a good storm. Yeah, I Not like Not when they're storm. dangerous, but, you know. I don't like being out in the storm, but I do love hearing the storm. I love watching it, especially when because they seem to have amazing storms when you're abroad. Mm. Like, the lightning is like, literally lights up the sky. It's mm. incredible. When, uh, I mean, I'm going back lots and lots of years, but we did go to the Bahamas once before, and uh, it was tropical rain season. And I've never seen rain like it. You could see it coming. Um, and it literally filled the streets. Like, within five minutes, you were up to your knees in water. What? Yeah. And then it would just all disappear. It would just pass, and then it would just all go again. And then it would be nice and bright again. Yeah. That's, was, that's bonkers, it, isn't it? It was. It was absolutely madness. So, but amazing. So, we're going to bring... I'm going to grab my rocker blocks. So I'm going to grab two of them so I can be uh, quite uh, quick with them. We've got the rock blocks on, haven't we, Joe? which is uh, fab. Now, before I do these, what we do, and you have got different sort of petal shapes, but I'm not going to worry too much about those. So uh, this one is for, I'm just checking which ones are for which. So this is my... No, that must be my smaller one. Yes, that's my smaller one. Uh, these have been made, can you see, a little bit bigger, so they will cover your entire stamp. So I'm making sure I've got my bigger ones and my smaller ones, so I know which ones they are. I'm going to pop those dies to the side, and then we'll do one at a time. So we've got plenty of these to be getting on with. Uh, so we're just going to open these up. Remember, we have got, uh, we should have four of them. So one, two, three, four. And I love them because they're just um, a really nice uh, size. Uh, that's weird, isn't it? There's more than four here. One, two. I think I've done six. Must have had three pieces, Joan. Two, four, six. Yep, so there must be some more on here then. We had six pieces and not four pieces. I probably did say that, didn't I? Did I say I had three pieces and folded them in half? I thought I only had two pieces and folded them in half, but that's fine. So two, four, six. It's amazing how I many you can cut through. Six. Yeah, it is amazing, isn't it? So we've got all these flowers. We're then going to bring in our fuchsia. So I'm bringing in the fuchsia uh, quick drying ink pads because it, it dries really quickly uh, and because we've got these um, uh, they're quite thin uh, I'm going to bring in my um, stamping mat and I'm just going to bring these in here and we're going to do them relatively quickly so don't feel like it will take um, a long time to do so first of all what I want to do is if you look at your stamp there's one of your stamps if we look around here you've got one that's got sort of a bit of a quirky uh, side to it which will be this one here so what I'm going to do is make sure that that's at the top of my rocker block so that stamp there and then every time I grab these I know that this sort of quirky one one, or this one should I say uh, we can just stamp them so I'm going to put a few out at a time uh, just turn that round and do that one and then that way because we've got our uh, stamping platform and uh, sorry our rocker blocks it's much easier then to just do quick stamping so that one's there so let's start with those three 
we're just going to ink that up really quickly. I'm not worried getting, about getting precision. We're just going to stamp down on that. Look at that, really Gorgeous. quick. Gorgeous. We can even then go down on another one, get that stamping. So you can really do quick stamping on here. It's just a case of keep putting that on, just going down over the top. And we can do two at a time. There we go, so that's five done in literally, what, about 10 seconds? So not long at all. So you're just going to keep uh, doing all your stamping. And again, we're just going to pop these into place. And it just gives that really nice effect. And because we're using uh, copy paper, uh, the effect on it is really lovely when you come to uh, making your flowers. In fact, we can do all of these at once. So all those, that'd be 12 in total that we've done really quickly. Uh, remember, this is not the only show today here on Crafters TV. We've got another, we've got a masterclass coming up for you a little later, uh, looking at all things personalised. Personalised makes is what we are going to be talking about. So uh, that'll be fun. Myself and Debbie, that'll be at 6 p.m. here in the UK. 1 p.m. on the East Coast, 10 a.m. for those of you across on the West Coast. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I'm just going to do... I don't think I've ever seen flowers made with copy paper before. Oh, really? No. There you go. Look how quick that was. So that's our first lot done. And look how many flowers we've made in that time and stamped them all with as well. So really nice and quick. Now let's do our other ones. So bring these ones in. And again, I'm going to check on this one. So fine, I'm pretty sure of all of these. Yeah, they have one of these uh, pieces. So I'm just going to pop, lay them all out with that one at the top. So then when you come to stamping, you know, when you're just stamping down on it, you're going to get that exact stamp. That one and That's an awful lot of flowers you can get out of that. Yeah. And also so inexpensive to make. I mean, foam ones are great. I mean, our foam, we do some great deals on foam. Absolutely. But it doesn't get much cheaper than copy paper, does it? No, not at all. And you think how many sheets you get in copy of paper. And we've all got it at home, haven't we, in our printers. So, uh, yeah, absolutely tons. So pop that out. Let us all know what you're up to this weekend as well, if you're out in the sun. You're Ooh, staying under what are you cover. up to this weekend, <laughs> Debbie? Uh, yeah, we've got a really busy weekend planned, to be honest, Joe. We're um, We have a party tomorrow. So I'm quite looking forward to that. With uh, I can't seem to find the little quirky one. I think that's it, but it's not going to matter too much. Uh, yeah, we've got a party tomorrow for Owl's 50th, and then uh, we've got friends staying over, and then we're off into London on Sunday for Duran Duran. Amazing. So, yeah, we're going to a Lebanese restaurant before that, and then heading to Hyde Park. Um, yeah, which will be amazing. I've waited so long. Um, I, I literally can't wait. So, yeah, Nile yeah, Rogers. It's Nile Rogers and Le Chic. Le Chic. <laughs> Le Chic, as Debbie referred to him yesterday. <laughs> Where the song's Le Freak. Le Freak. And what was the Le Chic after Le it? Le Freak, Cess Chic. Cess Chic. Yeah, so uh, I was just getting really excited, that's all. And then we're, um, it, you might do, Joe, you might, might get, get a voice a, note. Might get a, a voice note, hopefully, um, over the weekend. And then we're that. staying in a Tower Bridge <coughs> Hotel. In where? Uh, Tower Bridge. Ch yeah, the, Leonar up. the Leonardo Tower oh, Bridge. Oh, it's nice, the Leonardo. Oh, have you been there? <laughs> mm. So, yeah, we're staying there, and then we'll wake up on Al's birthday on the Monday, uh, and we'll be at the hotel. So, we, we don't, we've got a late checkout at 12, so we can use the facilities, and, uh, yeah, it'd be very nice. So, pop in Have you got any, what other facilities, Debbie? You what, sorry? What sort of facilities do they have? Oh, sorry, did I not say? Spa facilities. Oh, like, spa facilities, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 spa facilities, yeah. Yes. Oh, lovely. Mm, yeah, really nice. So I literally cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. And then we've got our leaf here, uh, which we're going to do these leaves as well. So we've cut four of these out. 
It always, sometimes I go into demonstration mode and I do apologise because I have to remember that we are doing this uh, slow enough for, um, uh, for craft along. So apologies. Yeah, yeah just shout at us if you need us. Just let me know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so this time what we're going to do, because I've already got a green cardstock, uh, I'm going to bring in uh, our lagoon. So the lagoon is a great one to have on top of green and really shows up all those uh, veins. So gonna use, uh, I, I picked up the wrong one. It doesn't matter, actually, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna change this, Joe, because I wanted a quick drying uh, lagoon. So let me Yeah, I've got a water reactive that. ink pad collection on the show, actually. Let me just share that with you. Works well with the decoupage flower stamping die collection. So in here, some really lovely colors. You've got the um, Bordeaux. You will also have the uh, Chinese red. You've got the honey pot. Plum jam, fuchsia, pink tulip, ocean blue, pine tree, seal brown, and also the crushed velvet in there as well. 46.99 or 70.99. I mean, I all selected those colours to work well with all of these floral dyes, so you know they're going to work really well. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to just switch these out and pop this. I've put this on a real funny angle, look, so let's do it that way, there we go. And again, look how nice these look when you put the leaves on. And I love the fact that we've made the, the stamp bigger than what the stamp, what the ink, what the die cut is, uh, because you're not going to miss anything. So real nice designs. And there we go, really quickly stamping those ones up. So let's make our flowers now, pop that to the side and I'm just going to clean my inks because we need to do our, um, our next flowers in a second. Oh, we're doing good for time, so uh, it's Syl quite, sorry Jo? Uh, Sylvia's saying she's got some recommendations for you Debbie, she says if you just go next door to the Citizen M Hotel, hotel they have a really lovely balcony bar and just along to the next corner there's the Skyline rooftop bar, both of them are fabulous, there you oh, go. Oh, very nice. Don't you just love everyone when they can just point yeah. in the directions of everything? So, yeah, I literally can't wait. I'm so looking forward to it. Be very nice. And then I've got something quite exciting planned for the following weekend, but I can't tell you until next week. Um, just because in it's case. Raoul's birthday, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and he does have a little eagle eye on our show. Does he have any inkling as to what it could possibly be? No. And w would he tell you if he thought he'd guessed it? Hmm, I don't know, maybe not. But as, as far as I know, he doesn't know anything. So, um, right, let's bring in my hot glue gun as well. Um, no, I don't think he does, and I'm, I'm not sure, I don't think he would say. But who knows? Uh, I don't think he would want to ruin the surprise if he did know. So, mm. um, yeah. Right, I'm going to bring in my mat again because we're going to do a bit of flower shaping and we're going to really create uh, some dimension in these. So the first thing I want to do is uh, create uh, the petals. So with the, uh, these are our largest ones, aren't they? There's not that much different in the sizes. So the smaller ones here, we're going to come in. Now what you're going to do is curl each piece round. So curl these round. Naturally, you could put a few together because uh, you could do these more than one. So curl the side pieces round and you're bending in the center, okay? So you're just creating that curved, curved effect on the edges. This gives like a, a crinkling effect. So I'm just going round. And this is the nice thing when you're using copier paper because you can do a few at once. And those ones. And you can spend a long time uh, on flowers, Joe, because they're just a really nice way um, to be quite mindful, really. And then we're going to use our ball tool and just go round in that centre. So keep doing it. Look at that. 
That's fabulous. <laughs> it's cool. Isn't that isn't amazing? It? Yeah, really It really quick. looks like a carnation as well, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to do that again. So we're going to do that to all of these and we're going to really sort of fluff them up and put them together. But do a few at a time because they're, they're just very clever how they come together. Now I've tried this with other materials and it doesn't work as well um, as it does with, um, uh, with copy paper. So a really nice way to do it. So again, all we're doing is turning these side pieces in while you put sort of push down in the middle. So that's all you're doing there. And then again, on this side, that's just giving those a sort of petal lift, really. A bit like us with our cheekbones. Mm. <laughs> there we go, just going all the way around. And there's a lot, there's so many different ways that you can make flowers. I mean, I've not even got all of these straight in a line, so don't ever worry about that. And then again, pop them all down, and then all you have to do is just put the smallest, so I've got the biggest ball tool, and I'm using the smallest amount. Uh, just pop that inside and literally turn them, and that will just ruffle them all it's up. It's amazing how robust it is. Yeah, very much You'd just think so. it would tear, wouldn't you? Yeah. So clever, isn't it? And look at that. I mean, that in itself, before you've glued any together, is beautiful. Really pretty flower. And then we're going to do that with the others. So we want to make about three flowers. So that's why I've cut so many petals out. So I think we can just do all the rest of these ones. And the more petals you put on of this, and you can afford to put more petals on because you've, you're not wasting any cardstock, you're just using your uh, copy paper. Um, and honestly, you can make hundreds and hundreds of flowers out of this. It's quite so, mindful so cool. flower making. Have we, have, have we ever done wisteria dyes, asked Lillian. Good wisteria. question. Wisteria. So, wisteria... Um, not as such, but I'm thinking of, is that like uh, thistles and wildlife flowers? Is I think wisteria, means? like, it's like, it, it's a, like a creeping plant, isn't it? And it, it grows, it blooms. I think it's like it grows over stuff, as far as I know. I mean, am I, am I correct there? I haven't ever heard of one, so I... I think it's like that. a sort of ivy type uh, plant that had that flowers has really nice big flowers. When we went to France, the house we stayed in had wisteria growing all over the veranda part, but it all just flowered and died. I think it flowers quite early. Ah, uh, okay. And then it looks like mange too when it goes to seed. Ah, oh, mm. I wouldn't have known that. So look at the dimension we've created and how pretty these are compared to our flat flowers uh, and actually done very little to them. So uh, yeah, a great way just to uh, create beautiful effects. So we're doing our bigger flowers now. And then just keep using your pokey tool to go round. There's all sorts of ways you can make flowers. I mean, obviously, these make amazing foam flowers as well. I'll show you, I didn't get round to doing my demo this morning for my hairband. I was going to make a hairband uh, with the lilies. Yeah, I showed it off, and it's on um, our videos, I think. But I will show you and how easy it is to, uh, to do. Pin that down. Look at that, it's That's amazing, amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Pop that there. Got a flower going everywhere. Got the fan on me again, Joe. It's so hot. Oh, yeah, don't rub Sorry, it in, you haven't got. <laughs> no, I haven't got a fan, I haven't got a choc ice, I haven't got a rocket lolly, I haven't got a mini milk. I haven't got any of those things. <laughs> oh, dear. Would you like my fan for later? Sorry? Would you like my fan for later? No, I'd like a chalk ice is what I'd like. <laughs> Would you like me to go out and buy you a chalk no, ice? No, I don't think so. I think it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just quite, I just like being quite difficult, Debbie. <laughs> I just sort of, I like, I quite, there's a, I think you can sort of, I think there's something quite enjoyable about being a bit cantankerous from time to time, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I think it's nice. Time to time. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> so 
Jo, what are you up to this weekend? Uh, I am going off to a very fancy festival uh, with Becky Swan tomorrow. Uh, we're going to the Soho House Festival uh, in Gunnersbury oh, Park, no. which is going to be amazing. You're going to be out hobnobbing with the celebs. Yes, aren't you? I saw. I saw. Uh, a video so it was ITV. on it was on yesterday and it's on tomorrow Thursday and Saturday um, and there was lots of like and and oysters and champagne I could see being enjoyed and there's a big fun fair with like dodgems oh and people doing people's face painting and everything and Deck's going to be there aren't they apparently so yeah Phil and, and it's one of those festivals where you pay um, you pay a certain amount to go in and then everything is free once you're inside. Yeah. So you can eat and drink what you want, you can do everything. It looks incredible. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, it is being played by my apps, one of my absolute favourite bands are there, Bastille. Uh, and I couldn't see them at Glastonbury Debbie because they did a surprise set and it was so busy they closed the field off that it was in and I couldn't get in. Wow. Uh, so I'm going to be seeing them. Uh, Fatboy Slim. Uh, who else is there? A oh, band I really amazing. love called Sports Team who are a punk band. They're there. Um, Jesse J, uh, Trevor Nelson yeah, is on as well. I think a band called Wet Leg are going to be there as well, who are quite good. Really like Wet Leg. So uh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be really amazing. Absolutely. And then Sunday, uh, just chilling. <laughs> You'll probably need Sunday, to Monday, after Tuesday, that. Wednesday, in fact, getting over Saturday, I think will be how it goes. <laughs> Johnny's looking there. Johnny oh. might be. Ah, oh, yes, I'll be able to get a choc ice. <laughs> You're very it'll probably be one. some sort of fancy gelato, I'd imagine, but it'll do. It'll do. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be incredible. Lillian says, Joe, you were so mellow the day you came back from holiday. It was like an imposter had rise, arrived in the studio. Uh, I think she's implying that it's nice to have the old me back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Shadia says you just like to be belligerent, Prince Joe. I that's think that's true. a fair assumption, yep, Shadia. Absolutely. Panda Crafts is going to Crafting Live at Doncaster Racecourse on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, that's really lovely. Very nice. Absolutely. Let us know what the rest of you are up to your weekend. We'd love to know, wouldn't we, Debbie? Yeah, definitely. It'd be uh, really nice to hear what everyone's up to. So what I'm doing is I'm not going to do too much to that at the moment because uh, what we do want to do is make sure that our glue is uh, drying uh, inside before we swell that because we can still shape that flower. But look how amazing that is. Oh, we've stuck it to the bottom so oh we've got it caught on the bottom there we go one of our little uh, petals had caught uh, and then we're going to just make a few more and I want to keep some of them uh, quite sort of screwed up here so we're just going to uh, take them and pop them all into place so and it's just a case of gluing them. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use, um, you can just use your tacky glue if you want, but you can also use your 3D uh, glue gel. Let's pop some of these in, in the centre. And you can make them as fluffy as you want, enclosed as you want. So let's pop that one to the side. And then let's do these ones here. Yeah, making flowers is something I've always loved to do, Joe. I've always loved quilling flowers when you can uh, do those. I thought they are amazing. Oh, Neve's off now. Her work oh, experience is bye, over. Neve. Let's all wave at Neve as she comes past. She's been a joy today. Uh, Peg's going to be selling cards at the farmer's market, apparently. That sounds like What's lovely. What's that, sorry? Uh, Peg's going to be selling cards at the farmer's market. Which farmer's market, Peg Lou? Let us know. Where's it going to be? Well, that sounds nice. Mm. I do love a farmer's market, Debbie. Uh, in Manchester, we have these things called maker's market. And they are all, um, you know, it's all stuff being sold by the people that have made it. It could be anything from photography prints to... 
bagels to chocolate brownies to jewellery or crafted stuff and it's like it's so cool they get about 150 stalls all of this sort of um uh, produce stuff for the makers are there as well. It's so fun. Wow, yeah, that sounds amazing. Right, so once they've cooled a little bit, we can then push that right down in the middle and then you can sort of just bring them all in. The other thing I want to do is bring that pink ink pad uh, back in and we're just going to touch the edges with it as well. So just using it over the well, edges. That's a just clever way of using it. Yeah, and this is a, this for me is easier than doing them all individual. So just tap it onto there. You can get some really nice bright little pieces around and it just brings to life. And then again, I'm just gonna go in, just move that in and then sort of squish them into place. And then you get your beautiful flower. But they're nice and easy to make, aren't they? they look amazing. And really really effective uh this um mary pat says i'll be painting the fence if the weather cooperates also making some cards and watching hallmark christmas movies oh very nice hallmark christmas movies in july that's keen yeah i'm not sure if i want to be watching chris although saying that i love a christmas movie and um but i don't think i'd want it i, I just love christmas so much so i don't think i would are there want any um, so christmas early. horror movies debbie Christmas horror movies. There you go, because I know you love a horror as well. Yeah, I'm trying to think. If I think we've found a niche in our gap in the market, Debbie. Hmm. I'm sure there are some. I just can't think of any um, off the top of my head. I'm sure they're probably zombie films or something. I don't like zombie films though. Why? Because they just make me laugh. Oh. And they shouldn't make me laugh because they're quite <laughs> horrific. But I mean. Come on, I mean, they're funny, I mean, they? Debbie loves so much gore, she laughs in the face of zombie films. They just make me laugh. They just look funny and they just walk around like this, don't they? It's like... <laughs> Although I've been told they've come a long way, zombies, so I might like them. Oh, have they? Apparently. It probably so. took them a while, though. They walk quite slowly. <laughs> Get it? Come a long way? Right. That was... It's no. really good timing, actually, Joe. I think they do... I don't know if they walk like that anymore. I don't... I don't know. I don't really watch them. Oh, I've just pulled my uh, talk back out, so apologies. Oh, dear. Uh, oh shall dear. we have a break there, Joe, and let everyone... Yeah, let's have a little break flowers, there. That sounds like a really good idea. All we've got left to do is make our flowers with, um, with vellum. We're going to use some vellum ah, next nice. and make some flowers. So I love that we're being able to do all these different mediums to create our flowers with, but that's what's coming up next. So uh, finish up your flowers and then we'll come back. Brilliant. George is very keen with that joystick today. He is, honestly. Uh, right, we'll give you an opportunity to get yourself caught up. Whilst you do that, any questions you've got, pop them over to me. And whilst you catch up, let's share with you all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. 
quick buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Just reach down my bra and take it off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. So, uh, any questions that you do have, though, Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion uh, on YouTube. But I think we should get straight back to it, Debbie, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, right, so we're going to be using now the Radiant Rose, uh, and I've used the vellum. Now, the vellum is the packs from the Dancing Dragonfly. Uh, so what we're going to do is use a pink piece and a green piece, uh, and I'm going to fold this in half because we can cut multiples of this as well. So just folding that vellum in half. Now, making flowers out of vellum is definitely one of my favorite things to do I just think they look so pretty uh, and quite realistic and very easy to do so first of all we're going to fold those and we're going to cut our flowers so we're just going to cut four there and then we're going to do our leaves as well so we'll run those first through um, our Gemini so let's pop that on and use our leaves. We'll pop that at the top there so we can cut a few and we'll have that one up the top. And then just run that through your machine. Now obviously you can make uh, flowers out of whatever medium that you want to use them with. So if you want to use a uh, cardstock or even your textured card, so like when we made the little leaves uh, out of our textured uh, papers, uh, they are going to be uh, great for making your flowers as well. But vellums are just a really nice way to use them. So let's take our leaves out. You can see our beautiful, I mean, look at those leaves. They look gorgeous in the vellum. Um, and that's our flowers. And then we're going to cut some more. So let's just pop that onto there. I think we can get six out of this one. And then we'll use another one just there. That's it. I mean, you could tape yours down so uh, if you wanted to, So, but I think they should be okay as long as I don't knock them. So just run them through. Uh, Vellum Joe is becoming more and more popular. Um, we're getting it in lots of pads now. We're getting it in like our bigger pads, our 8x8 sheets that we're getting in some of our collections. And it's nice actually to have something else to use them for other just than in your mats and layers. Let's pop those two and then do another one. You know, I'll be working on my new craft room, uh, like insulation and drywall. Wow. The electrics are in. Please don't call it a she shed. I hate that name almost as much as a man cave. Well, it could be a lady cave, couldn't See, it? I don't mind a man cave, but I don't like a she shed. I think that's. It <laughs> a she what? Like she, she shed. Cave. How about a lady cave? No. No? No. That sounds awful. Why does it? I don't know, it just doesn't sound... Man cave, lady cave. No. Show around your lady cave. Right, uh, still working on uh, her lady name. Lady retreat. Sorry? <laughs> A lady retreat. Lady retreat. <laughs> uh, any suggestions on names? I do like sassy names. It's going to be a her, apparently. You do like what? Sassy... Sassy names. Sassy lady names. Sassy lady names. Um... Hmm... I can't, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say sassy lady names in case it's someone in the comments is called that and then it's, you're implying they're sassy. 
<laughs> well, it could be. Sassy's not always a bad thing. I always call my uh, niece sassy. She's very sassy. Uh, right, this time we're not going to, we're going to do our leaves and stamping on our leaves, but we're not going to do it onto our vellum. Uh, so what we want to do, we want to create a bud because a rose always has that bud shape to start off with. Uh, so what we want to do is bring in our pokey tool uh, and we're going to really curl that first leaf in. So we just want to pull that in and curl that over. So, and just hold that because what vellum is good for is uh, manipulating it. So can you see it creates that first little bud uh, coming up. And then what we're going to do is uh, bring each leaf in and do the same. So, but first of all, we're just going to give it a little helping hand. So as it goes round, but this time what we're going to do, I'm going to bring in my um, heat gun. Uh, sorry, not heat gun, my... Um, Hot glue gum, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. And we're only going to put a tiny little bit there because it does get quite hot. So just be really careful when you're doing this. And then we're going to turn this round. Could you burn the vellum then with this if you're not careful? No, you wouldn't burn the vellum. Right. You just don't want to burn your hand. Oh, OK, no, you yeah. don't want to do that. So it's just a case of bringing that in and just holding that into place so it's creating that little bud, OK? So, and this is the, the most intricate one because it's the one, um, and what I'm doing there, I'm going to take that off, Joe. So taking that bud off of there because we want to start creating uh, just this bud that our flowers will go around. This is the, uh, the one that's going to be um, sort of the more intricate to get going. And then we're going to do exactly the same, but just by tearing off these petals and wrapping them round. So what I am going to do, I'm going to bring two in together. So we're going to trim those round. I'm going to take that bottom bit out so don't be afraid to bring these in together and this time what we're going to do is we're going to um, secure two of them so just put in a little bit of glue onto there just to hold those into place and then we're going to do the same I'm going to bring another flower in and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to just bring those two in I'm going to cut those ones off so just across the bottom and I'm going to, again, bring those around so they're glued into place. Just like so. And it just depends on how real you want your roses to be. So that just gives us that shape. So hold that just while that connects. There we go. So this one should be fine. Fingertips when doing this. Yes, good idea. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then we can start wrapping this around. So I want that to be, because I can bring that a little bit higher, because our rosebud, when you have a rosebud, the centre sort of protrudes out more than the, uh, more than the rest of the flower. And then we're going to just pop another little bit at the base there. And it really does need just that little bit to come round. There we go. <clears throat> oh, it's gone back down, Joe. Sorry? <coughs> what was that, Debbie? Gone back down. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There we go. <coughs> so I've gone quite... There we go, that's better. There we go, so you can see that's we've got our, uh, our bit there. And I'm going to actually just put a piece of glue just in the bottom to hold that into place. And then we'll do a last one. Once we've got to this point, then we can just start having our, um, our flowers just coming around. So it's just a case of holding it into place and then we can start taking our other ones. So I'm going to let that dry just for a second while we just start to manipulate these leaves again. Just oh, like so. You found it easier, could you, Debbie? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you could use tweezers, so you haven't got to. And you don't have to use, I mean, you might find um, a tape's good for you, some uh, wet glue. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer to hold. Uh, your tweezers that grip, so you know we do those tweezers that are shut when you... Yes, can, and then you can squeezy like, tweezers. Squeezy tweezers, yes. Um, if you use those, you can always... Um, <sighs> You can always uh, use those to uh, create with and uh, you won't have to touch too much. Right, now all I'm going to do with this one, we're going to pop that into the centre and then this one will go around that base. So we can really start to build up that rose. That's it. So I'm happy with... Oh, 
So I'm happy with that. We've just got glue all over my fingers there. Luckily, that's uh, not too hot. So let's roll that away. So once we've got that far, now I know that my rose is starting to take shape. We can just pop that down so I can let that glue dry. There we go. So with our other ones, Joe, what we're going to do is we're going to use, let's pop that away. We're going to again bring in our mat. I've put it somewhere and now I can't see it. That's strange. I had it right there, didn't I? So let's bring these ones in. So what I want to do with these ones, we want to create, because um, on roses, they almost fold back the ends of our petals. So we want to just create this piece here, all on the petals. And you can see, you can still manipulate, just be a little bit more gentle because they can bend, like you say, or crack because it is vellum. And then we're gonna do the same on this one. But these are going to be, we're going to then turn that over and then we're going to do the same as what we did earlier with this part. Because what we want to do is we want to create these leaves that sort of turn back on themselves because roses sort of have that turning back part. So we're just going to bend some of these onto themselves. So when they wrap around, they create that sort of rose petal shape. Okay, and then we're going to do the same with these ones. And just pop in your ball tool around. I love the effect of these with the vellum. It's really nice. And, and also, Debbie, a great way to use your vellum, isn't it? Because I know a lot of people talk about, you know, maybe struggling with ideas for the vellum. Yep. Uh, totally, yeah, absolutely. I think there's just all sorts of ways to use your vellum. Die cuts are a great way to use them uh, because they just look really effective, especially when you start to roll them all together. So just doing this last one. And then turn that over. Oh, and like that. And it does. And if one falls off, don't worry. It's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, you can always add your petals in afterwards, so it's not a problem. So we're just bending these over. Let's do the same with this one. Be a little more gentle on that one. Oh, this, these are something, Debbie. You could just batch make these if you wanted to. Could you? Yeah, you absolutely. Just make a load of these, have them good to go whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, you can totally do that, absolutely. So you can see, can you see now we've got that beautiful rosebud shape that's coming along and then we can start to put all our petals in as well. Got all glue stuck to my uh, nails, there we go. Right, so Rose says, can you stamp on vellum, Debbie? If so, what ink would you use? Uh, yeah, so I haven't stamped onto vellum. You could absolutely uh, use your quick drying ink, but it would still take a little bit of time uh, to dry. So, um, yeah, be quite mindful of that um, because, yeah, you can. But what I would suggest is using a stays on ink um, that's going to uh, stay in place. Now, all I'm doing with this one, because I want them to actually um, stick together, we're going to start bringing these up to create our rows. So just holding those into shape. And then we're going to... Oh. And also, just devil's advocate here, Debbie, but if you didn't have a, a glue gun, is there anything else you could use here adhesive-wise? Um, yeah, you could use your um, Kalawal 3D okay. glue gel. Um, absolutely, that's something you can you could do. So we're just going to pop these all into place. Yeah, the glue for some reason, and I, I, I'm sure I use the same glue at home, is uh, it's it's taking longer to dry. I don't know whether it's the heat today. It's so warm. How warm yeah. is it in the studio, Debbie? You what, sorry, How it's uh, 24. Oh, wow. 24 It's like being degrees. on holiday. Sorry? It's like being in Fuengarola. I know, absolutely. So once you've done this, can you see, we could actually use these leaves to tuck in and uh, create a little bit more. So where we've got some bits out of here, we can tuck these in. 
and you won't see the glue. That's the nice thing with vellum. So you can just bring these in and tuck them in to fill any sort of gaps. That's nice. Yeah, and just a nice way of using, especially any broken ones, because you're going to get a few broken ones. So pop those in there. And then we'll do the same. And just pop that one. Yeah, so wherever you want to, to put them, just creating uh, that bit more depth in there as well. And let's pop that one in there. So while that one is uh, drying, we will then use our... Let's just turn that because I think it's stuck to the bottom. There we go. So look at that. Absolutely stunning. And then we're going to bring our leaves in. So I just want a couple of these. I've just pulled, uh, pulled the leaves off both of those then. Let's bring these ones in. We've got the stamps for these. So I'm not worried about putting the stamp on the flowers because I think the rose has that really nice image already. Let's bring in our rocker blocks and pop that on there and again I'm going to go in so I am stamping onto vellum and I'm going to use our quick drying ink um, the lagoon and pop onto there so they will take that little bit longer to dry but they don't take long to dry so what you could do is uh, use your hot glue gum so just oh, <laughs> oh where did dear. that go there it is where did that go it's there <laughs> Look at that. So For my just, next trick. <laughs> I don't want to go over the top there. We've missed a little leaf. It, it literally, it was like a magic trick, wasn't it? <laughs> and then let's just do that one. So I think what it did was stuck to, um, to it. And then when I pulled it away, it went away. So let's just bring that one off. There we go. So really beautiful designs. And then we're going to pop our card together. So that's quite good timing. Uh, while I've got my stamping platform out, let's just do a quick sentiment. So we're just going to bring uh, a sentiment in. So um, what have I used on my card? You are strong and you are beautiful. Um, thank you for your kindness. You are special to me. Let's have that one, shall we? We'll do a different one. So uh, we're just going to take a piece of card. So any piece of your scrap cards that you've got. Let's use our rocker blocks for this one. And um, and actually, because we've been using that lagoon, let's just stay with that one. I'm going to stamp into a corner because then that way it's easier just to trim out. There we go. You are special to me, so stamp in. And then let's bring in our guillotine and just trim that piece out. Along there. So whatever stamp you use, just cut that to the size. So cut that down. And then we want to uh, pop that on a piece of our pink cardstock. So let's bring that one. Do you in. just do it by eye when you get to this sort of size, Debbie? Yes, yeah, it's pointless because, and lots of people use different sentiments. Um, which are different sizes. So I think have a sentiment that's good for you or works for what you want to put it on. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then just cut around it. So I definitely do it by eye. I would just layer it on like this uh, and then just trim, trim your cardstock uh, to your required size. So pop that on there. There we go. And it doesn't take long at all to, uh, to do that. So let's bring these pieces in. I'm going to pop that piece onto a foam pad. Let's just grab these ones. Which is going to go matte and layered onto there. So if we bring our card back in. Uh, where is it? There we go. So first of all, so this is going to go onto the bottom. So we're just going to use our glue to pop that down. And that's going to go right at the front there. 
And let's uh, pop our flowers into play. So Amazing. we've got our different leaves here and we've got our rose. So now our rose is dry. I wanted to make sure that was properly dry. I now want to come in and again, we can ink this up. So this time I'm just going to use a little dauber. Uh, if you don't have a dauber and you've got one of our blending sponges or you could use a uh, cotton wool bud. Um, so you have lots of cotton wool buds, don't you, Joe? Oh, gosh, don't start, Debbie. <laughs> and we're just going to come in with this. <laughs> that sounded really cutting towards Debbie then, it isn't. No, Debbie's <laughs> just highlighting something. That, uh, yeah, let's leave it there. <laughs> so just making this a little bit more rosy pink to go with our um, cardstock. Uh, Mary Reno says, or Mary Rhino as we affectionately call it, says gorgeous vellum rose. Debbie, I love that colour. Uh, Deborah says it's beautiful with the um, vellum. Heidi says that is a gorgeous rose. It's a bit fussier than some other flowers. So if, you, if I give you one, you know I love you, is what she goes on to say. Yeah, um, absolutely. I agree. Uh, Thora says, thanks for the very informative, interesting class, Debbie. Oh, have to give lovely. my husband his dinner now. Oh, there you are. Very nice. That's an early dinner. Well, I wonder if in South Africa we do the, they do the whole dinner lunch thing, because I'm pretty sure they're on the same they're on the same time zone as us. Oh, okay. But I don't know if they observe day, daylight saving in the summer or not. I'm not sure. Ah. Who knows? Right. This I'm going to guess it's it's lunch. I want to use my 3D glue gel. I'm just not sure I've got enough left. Um, so. Um, if Jake or John are about, they might be able to, if they can hear, they could get me some uh, glue Some gel. chunky glue. 3D chunky glue. I might have enough, so, um, yeah, I might have enough. So, first of all, we're going to pop this. In fact, we're going to hide our little workings there. So, why the 3D glue gel rather than the hot glue at this point, Debbie? Uh, because it's chunkier. Right. And... And also, is it a bit runnier, the other one? Uh, it's not so much. It's This one's thicker, actually. The other yeah. one's runnier, sorry. Yes. yes. Um, and also, um, this has more wiggle room. Ah, uh, OK. Yeah. So uh, we're going to pop our flowers, which means I can put them where I want, but I can move them if I don't like them, if I put another one in place. So let's pop that one in. We're then going to do one at the top here. So pop that underneath. And then let's uh, get our other one and we'll pop that one into place. So we're going to put our three into there. So we're just going to wedge Daddy them Daddy Jake is on it. Ah, uh, he's a Daddy, star. Daddy, here he comes. And actually, that's, uh, that's dry. Oh, just pulled my petal off, but that's fine. Thank you, Jake. Let's pop that in. Oh, we, oh, we should have, yeah, we should have. Oh, yeah, Jake, those, before you go... Yeah. Uh, we were talking about your hair this morning. Do you want to come in? Because we were saying, should should uh, should Jake shave it all off? Okay, you'll have to bend, come down a little bit. There you go, there brilliant. Uh, and this way a bit. There you are. Uh, should he keep it or should he cut it all? Off? I think you should just cut it all all the way off to like a one or no, a 0.5. No, one's too short. No. Only first time one's no. too short. No, don't go to you know, halfway house. No, uh, don't cut it, Jake. You've got don't lovely cut hair. It. Uh, what do you think at home? Hair. I need to do it, Debbie, just because I keep thinking about it too much. What does Holly Aww. think? She's against it. Mate. Oh, See, then I absolutely, that, yeah, <laughs> definitely do not do it. Don't do it. It's more than your life's worth, Jake. <laughs> 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 right, let's just pop out. He's very Please. fragrant, Jake, isn't he? He's what, sorry? Very fragrant. Oh, he always smells. Like, he always smells delicious, he smells doesn't he? smells divine. Yeah, he wears expensive... Um, expensive oh is it i thought he had um oh savage oh what, yeah uh, yeah it's a lot of money he won't yeah i <laughs> that was exactly my thing i was just about to say johnny said he won't be having that There'll now be is he no more of that <laughs> now <laughs> he's a da now he's daddy daddy jake <laughs> that's obviously Honestly. what johnny has <laughs> <laughs> what was the one where? What's the one where it was the advert of the the boat in the sea? What was that one that your dad always used to wear? What's it called? Davidoff, cool water. Davidoff, sort of that's nice. Is it, oh, is that a good one? Yeah, that's a good one. I love Davidoff. Yeah. All right, there we go. So we've put them all in. 
and pack it because actually you made all these beautiful flowers. So I've done those ones a little bit too, but look at that. There we go. I'm happy with that. Let's turn that round. And there we go. We've got our beautiful craft along with those gorgeous flowers. That lovely fan uh, just looks absolutely beautiful. There really, really well cool. Done. What an amazing, amazing craft along. Um, yeah, really, really cool. I hope you uh, have enjoyed it. Uh, Pound across, I just sent two pictures of mine in. Uh, oh, and Rose really? says, no, Jake, leave the hair alone. I'm still mourning the mullet, to be honest. I love the mullet. That went. He did have a great mullet. The, the best mullet this side of Middlesbrough. Uh, let me share with you, again, then exactly what is in uh, the decoupage flower stamp and dye collection. It's a really brilliant collection. You've got the fragrant sweet pea in there. The timeless carnation. Then you've got the fabulous fuchsia. Uh, you've got the Radiant Rose, there's the lovely Lilac, and also the Delicate Lily is in there as well. 69.99 and 79.30 gets you all of that. Great saving, and we've been able to replicate that launch offer. Remember, you will be able to come back and watch this craft along back any time you like over on the website. You can also go back and watch the launch day on this as well. We had a two-hour launch day uh, focusing just purely on these, which is brilliant. Don't forget about, I know, I know you're asking at home in the comments, I still didn't get a shock ice. Uh, there's a few comments coming in. Still didn't get one. I'm okay with it. I've made peace with it. Uh, let's share with you a couple of the Fiverr Friday deals uh, that we've got on the show. Uh, so uh, you can find the waterproof dye base ink pad uh, is in there. That's fantastic. You say $4 on that in the States. We've also got these, the little snips are very, very busy uh, in this show. Um, four, uh, five pounds or five dollars, of course. These are the most popular, four pounds or four dollars. You can even still use your Club Inspire discount even on things like our Fiverr Friday. So make sure you are taking advantage of that. And the other one we've got for you are the uh, Rocker Blocks uh, is the other one. Uh, Debbie was using these in her demonstration as well. Uh, and these are brilliant. Um, he's emailed me Panda Class Pictures. I mean, I think it's quite, I think it would be quite, um, I don't know if my email's on here. I mean, I could show you on here, but who knows what kind of notifications I might get. Um, I will, oh, let's do it and I'll put it on flight mode. Hang on. This is, I've, oh, it's gorgeous. Let's put that on flight mode and take that off there and that off there and we should be fine. Uh, there we are. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. and lovely colours. Yeah, really is beautiful. Uh, turn those back on, turn that off, turn, that's like Fort Knox. Uh, right. Don't forget about the showtime, my time, your time, surprise, which is this one just here from Violet Studios. The showtime surprise means it's a deal that you can only grab right here and right now. It'll end this evening, so you must snap it up. And this is brilliant. I think these are going to be wonderful for gifts, these. They are from Violet Studios. And what you've got here is the Sew Your Own Makeup Bag and also the Sew Your Own Apron. There, everything you need included. All you need is, of course, a needle and some thread. Uh, and you will be good to go on those, which I think is great. If you do come back tomorrow, though, uh, these will be £26 or $30. So make sure you're getting them whilst they are on that brilliant deal. Masterclass, Debbie, in, what, two hours' time. Uh, what, can we, uh, what, can we get, uh, what can we get excited about for that? Well, we've got some amazing uh, dyes on for a start, and we've also, we're going to be uh, just personalising things with ages, with their names. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a great masterclass, so uh, anything personalised. So, if you want to add uh, someone's name or age to uh, your makes, uh, stay tuned for later on, because that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Amazing. Really looking forward to that. That's coming up then 6 p.m. here in the UK, 1 o'clock on the East Coast, 10 a.m. over on the West Coast. Sam McDonald says, I would get you a chocolate ice show. Tesco is just down the road. Uh, I know. Aww. Lynn says, a stunning card, Debbie. Sorry, Debbie? That would be really nice. Sorry talking over you then. That would be really nice if someone bought you in a chocolate ice. Yeah, I only good. had a mini milk, so chalk ice would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've had quite enough chalk ices, don't you? Uh, lovely Lynn says, stunning card, Debbie. I, I mean, because you've already had one, Debbie, is what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't fat shaming you. Don't start. Yeah, thanks, Jay. Definitely a special card for a special person, uh, Lynn says uh, about that one there. So, uh, let me share with you also these water reactive ink pads that we've got on the show. These work perfectly uh, with the florals that you've got here. So, you've got the Bordeaux. You've also got your Chinese red, got the honey pot, plum jam, 
the fuchsia, pink tulip, ocean blue, pine tree, seal brown, and of course the crushed velvet there as well. $46.99 or $17.99 is your price on those. Don't forget to check out your baskets uh, because it is very, very busy uh, over on the website at the moment. And make sure, of course, you come back and join us for that incredible masterclass. Uh, it's my fake Friday today. I was off for ages and then I have the audacity to only come back and do three days, not the actual four, Debbie. Uh, but make sure you join myself and Debbie uh, for a fake Friday special, fake Friday, actual Friday special uh, at 6 p.m. here in the UK, 1 o'clock East Coast, 10 a.m. over on the West Coast. Uh, don't forget to check out your baskets. We will see you back here in a couple of hours. Take care.